Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, my tutorial series for using the Super Multiplayer Shooter Template alongside uh, CBS. Uh, in this episode we're going to be essentially just going around using the sample imagery that comes with SMST and we're going to be using the work out how to use the items that you can create with CBS uh, that's stored through Playfab that will store to the user's account and um, yeah and it will show how to create the items that go along it we're still going to be using the SMST to create the cosmetic item data we're just going to be linking them to items on the CBS inventory and then we'll be doing a check if the user has the item then it will show in the inventory for the character customization We're, um, we're going to be following along uh, as I have done this before just to check that it all works I've put this actually into my own game uh, we're going to be following along a little guide that I wrote it literally has everything I will link this in the description so you can copy and paste as you want it's a lot easier to follow just so you don't have to keep stopping the video all the time essentially just tells you which scripts you have to edit we've only got two scripts I think uh, and then all the other little bits that we're going to be changing so the first we're going to do is we're going to open up the character customizer, customizer script, uh, which I have open here. Uh, we're going to add the using system link and using CBS at the top. So let's add those. Uh, the next we have a couple of variables to add. One thing I have forgotten to write in here though is we need to get rid of the old items part. Where is that item part? Uh, oh, it's not there. Okay, so we don't need to get rid of anything. We'll just add under here or add our new bits. Then uh, we need to just replace a couple of things. So where it's looking for the sample inventory, we're literally just going to replace it with the list that we have now put in here, which is the uh, list for cosmetic item data called items. So. All we've got to do is we look for the where it's references the sample inventory instance we're just going to change it to items and because before it was an array <coughs> and it used to uh find out the amount of them that was in there with length the list uses count so we're just gonna have to replace that so what you can do is it's not too hard to scroll down and look so there's one the sample inventory instance items just take that away and it's items and I believe the other one is actually up here. So sample inventory instance items.length. I'm going to take that out and it's going to be items.count with a capital C. So that's that. So we just replace those. Uh, at the beginning of void start, we're just going to add these, which essentially just reference the uh, CBS inventory module. And it also starts the uh, the get inventory just to load the user's inventory so I'll just do it at the start of void start and then we're going to get an error because we haven't got the on get inventory function which we are going to add in a minute but um, at the start of void open we're going to want it to refresh the slots so we're going to add this in so void open it's essentially if the current slots the count of the current slots that we have when we last opened it is less than the amount of items that we currently have it's essentially going to reload all these slots and then we want to add this method here which is uh, CBS's on git inventory but we have oh, we have modified it to go through all of the users items so we could just add this anywhere I'm just going to add it at the bottom uh, yeah that's right so all this is going to do this is going to get your inventory if it's success uh, for each item that is in the user's inventory if CBS item matches uh, which we're going to add yeah so if it finds the CBS item ID that matches the item ID that we have for um, SMST it's then going to add it to that list the list called items that we've just replaced the sample inventory with 
Uh, you'll see we got uh, an error here for the item ID because we haven't added a reference for that yet, but that is in the next part. So we want to open up, make sure we get all of that, uh, cosmetic item data cs which i have open and we're just going to add the public stream string cbs item id and then for our new items now when you click on the cosmetic item uh, scriptable object you'll have a new field there for cbs item id which we will find so if i just look where they are so we're going to go with hat one didn't save it, did I? Maybe not. Hmm. I have broken something. Oh, this is because I changed. I was playing around with cosmetic things. <coughs> Here we go, okay. So now when you click on your cosmetic items, which will be in your item data folder, you get a new field, which is CBS item ID. I know this one is the Santa or the Christmas hat. So we're just gonna name this Santa hat. Uh, you'll want to remember what you name this one as. Uh, you want to open up the CBS configurator. Uh, you want to create a new item. And for the item's ID, you want it to match what you've just written as that item ID. So open up the CBS configurator. Items. I'm going to create a new category for this called hats. Because when you do integrate the store, you can have it set by categories. So we'll add a new item. Santa hat. Uh, now you could just call it what you want, so I am literally going to call it Santa hat. It's, it's a festive piece of headwear. Uh, I'll put it in the category for hats. Uh, you don't really need to do any of these bits. You'll want to change the sprite for it's on here. And you can add a price, but I haven't set the currency on this one yet. So there you go, we've got a Santa hat. And that will have, just check the ID, matches the ID that you've entered there. If not, you can always change this, but you can't change it from CBS. So we'll close that down. So that's that done. So in our main menu scene, you need to make sure it is added to, uh, where are we going? So in the managers, the character customizers you want to add it into all cosmetics so i'm going to add all of the cosmetics anyway uh, so we're going to add tap one two so this is essentially a mirrored list of um every cosmetic you had and it compares against this list to what you have in your inventory but we will also need to add make sure they all added in the item library just like uh, SMST uses and then you can test it by going to your Playfab dashboard and adding the item to your user. I'm just going to log in on here to make sure I'm the last user. So I'll just log in as guest. As you see, don't have any items. If I come back out, you go to your Playfab dashboard, search your most recent logins. Okay, I think it's stuck. Doesn't seem to want to load. to like me okay uh, I think it may be this one 
So if I load my inventory, uh, so if you go over to inventory when you found your player, you want to ground an item and use the same item ID that you just created. Grant yourself the item, it will appear down here. Then, if you load in, this is if it's the right user. There we go, and there is your new item. And that is essentially it. As I said, I will link this down below uh, so you can, I mean, you don't have to watch the whole video, you can literally just go through this and it's quite simple but uh yeah that's it thank you very much for watching remember if uh if you found it helpful like subscribe if you've got any more suggestions put them in the um put them in the comments or i am on the cbs and smst support discords as well so you can find me on there it's shift or puppy gaming uh thank you very much guys bye, -bye.